Hello everyone, my name is Rob. I am the Head of Curriculum for the English Department here at One. I'm here today to talk to you about what you can expect should you choose to make an application to study English at One. Hopefully by the end of this short presentation, I'll have answered many of the questions that you may have, but if you have any further information that you'd like sent to you, or you'd like to ask us further details, there will be contact information at the end. So what can you expect should you come to study English at one? Well, we hope we can offer you a welcoming, lively and inclusive environment. And we also hope that we can offer a course to suit everyone. Specifically, we offer the English Literature A-Level, English Literature and Language Combined A-Level and the English Language Standalone A-Level. I'll be talking about each of these courses in more detail in a moment. We also offer the opportunity for you to resit, should you need or wish to, the, your GCSE English language qualification, and you can do that alongside studying other courses within the college. We also offer a fantastic range of extracurricular activities here, such as creative writing, visiting authors from um, both around the country and across the world, as well as poetry competitions and writing workshops. We can also offer you work experience with local publications and businesses if you want to get uh, an understanding of how English is important in the workplace or what it feels like to write for a living. And we also have a thriving public speaking and debating team should you want to get involved in that. So what does a typical lesson feel like in an, the English department at one? Well, the first thing to say is that uh, they're a lot longer than your English lessons uh, at high school. They tend to be two hours in length. We like to think that they are somewhere between uh, a high school English class and a university style seminar. Don't worry, we don't ask you to sit still for two hours. You are given breaks and you are given freedom should you need to to uh, move around the room. This is my colleague Juliet taking an English literature class last year and as you can see it's uh, fairly similar to what you can expect at, uh, at high school but we hope with a more relaxed atmosphere. The people there are choosing to study English, they have an enthusiasm and a passion for the subject and we do hope that people who choose this subject are doing so because they want to contribute and share their ideas and their opinions about the material that we study. And that's when English can be a really fan fascinating and absorbing subject when people are engaged in discussion, sharing ideas and talking about the work that they're, that, that they're, they're doing. So, I'm going to come on now to talk about the uh, courses uh, specifically and I'm going to start with English literature. So in an English literature course you can expect to read and discuss a range of literary texts from prose to poetry and drama as well as uh, novels and short stories. You'll be developing your uh, skills of analysis and comparison looking at the writer's craft and how professional writers put uh, literature together and also how texts relate to specific themes and ideas as well as the contexts in which they've been written and the context in which they're read. Specifically on this course we study the AQA syllabus and you will study a range of texts from Shakespeare all the way up to the present day. There's two specific units. The first is centered around World War I fiction and the second one is looking at how writers all the way from Shakespeare to the present day have written about the theme of love. So it's two very different uh, topics there, two different approaches to looking at literature. We also offer in the third year a coursework unit where you get to choose your own texts for study and they can really be texts that you are enthusiastic and passionate about and alongside your teacher you'll be guided to create your own question and 
structure your own study and analysis of those two texts. So, English language and literature combined is a subject that students often ask about because they're not sure quite how it uh, how it is, is similar or different to GCSE. Well, the first thing to say is that it's not vastly different to the GCSE course in the sense that you will be studying both a range of fiction and non-fiction. That means you might be looking at the way uh, a writer who's written a a novel has written about a similar subject to a piece of journalism or somebody who's giving a, a public speech. It's also the course for people who are interested in developing their skills as writers because it is the course that offers the most uh, opportunity for actual creative writing, learning how to write and adapt, their, adapt your style to different genres and different uh, modes of, of, of authorship. So if you're interested in writing, that would be the course for you. Specifically, again, we follow the AQA syllabus in language and literature combined. And we have a unit that looks at writing around, centered around and uh, originating from Paris and the experience of being in Paris. We look at modern poetry, modern literature, modern novels, as well as, again, a, third, a second year, year 13 coursework component where students get to compare fiction and non-fiction. And that can be anything from a, a range of texts, whether it's poetry, prose, drama and prose, um, graphic novels, blogs, journalism, magazines. There really is a wide range of texts for you to choose from. Okay, so thirdly, I'd like to talk to you about the English language A-level. This is for anyone who's interested in learning more about how English works in the real world. It's not the same as GCSE English language. It uh, looks at language within a social context as well as a historical context. We look at how the English language has developed over time, how words come to be formed, how the English language changes, and also how we acquire language as babies and young children and how that shapes the way that we think as we grow up. Both about how we think about ourselves and also how we think about other groups, other people and different events that surround us every day. Again, specifically, the course is divided into exams and coursework. There are two units uh, for the English language A-level. The first looks at how the English language is structured through its grammar, through its choice of words or lexis, how meaning is constructed, which we call semantics. And we also look at how the context and the place, the audience in which we use language affects the way that it changes. The second unit uh, looks at language acquisition, so how we develop and acquire languages as, as children, how it's changed over time, and how language is used in the media. You also, again, get to structure alongside your, your teacher, uh, your own coursework investigation, type, investigation in, in year 13. And again, we think that's a really unique opportunity for you to develop your independent study skills and your passion for the subject. Okay, well that brings me almost to the end of this short video. If you are interested in finding out more, if you go to our website, you can find contact details. You can find, you can take a, a virtual tour of the Suffolk One campus, and you can also contact us directly should you wish to uh, arrange a meeting with one of the teachers here in the English department. I'd just like to leave you then with the three reasons that I think you should study English at one, which is that if you choose to make an application here, you will be working alongside excellent staff who are specialists in their area. You'll be coming to a college that offers a wider range of English courses and extra curricular opportunities than most sixth form colleges and you'll be studying and coming in every day 
to a dynamic, supportive learning environment where you will be encouraged to do the absolute best that you can. So if any of those reasons appeal to you, I'd encourage you please to have a look further at our website and get in contact with us to find out more information. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Goodbye. <laughs>